We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. So for all your tea sipping needs, don't forget to check out lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much for the support in advance and stay tuned for the video. All right, y'all. So this entire Nicki Minaj and Cardi B situation, honey, we're gonna have to turn this into a whole Dragon Ball T series, okay? Because if it's not one thing, it's another concerning both of these ladies and both of these fandoms, okay? One minute we're talking about Nicki and the barbs are upset. The next minute we're talking about Cardi and Barty Gain is mad. So after I did the video the other day about the whole Cardi B situation, showing receipts, about what Barty Gang was saying about the whole Cardi B situation, showing it from Cardi's side. I had a lot of Barb's reach out to me in my DM and they said that they want me to make a video, you know, for the Barb's. Addressing Nikki's side and basically showing a rebuttal of everything that Cardi B and the Barty Gang had to say in that video, okay? And I told y'all I have no dog in this fight. I'm unbiased as hell. You guys enjoy them. So I do these videos for you guys. I bring the receipts and I put them out there and then you guys can be the judge, okay? But this whole situation with both these ladies has now officially turned into a Dragon Ball T series. Can I get some damn gunshots, Joe Budden? Because I'm too poor to afford my own. <laughs> yes, thank you, Joe Budden, for looking out for lovely T TV, okay? So anyways, y'all, y'all grab y'all's teacups because I have some damn receipts from the Barb's. And shout out to the Barb's who came into my DM with respect. Y'all didn't drag me. Y'all weren't disrespectful. So I'm glad you guys are starting to get the message. You guys will get more videos from me, you know, showing your side when you're not disrespectful, just like Barty Gang. I'm glad a lot of you kids are starting to calm the hell down because y'all dragging me and saying I'm shaped like a pizza roll. It's just mean and re damn ridiculous. It's not true, okay? Anyhow, so this is what the Barb's are saying. They sent me a bunch of damn receipts, honey. So I'm going to go ahead and break everything down. So what they're saying is this. They're telling me that basically Cardi B has been beefing with these two strippers for months now. There's somebody named somebody Miraja, and he basically was talking about this and another bar posted it. And the Miraja person is supposed to be going live with one of the strippers that got into a Cardi B. Now, I didn't get a chance to check out the live stream. I don't know if any of you barbs saw the live stream or if you guys recorded it. If you did, please send it to me so I can check it out, okay? So then other bars were sending me videos showing that Nicki Minaj knew the two stripper girls and that's why she had liked that post. As we all know, Nicki Minaj is doing this whole good form, you know, challenge, which is a song on her album. I had stated that in the previous video that it was a good form challenge, but I never stated that it was a song on her album, okay? So when the girls did that, because Nicki Minaj had a prior relationship with them, the Barb's are saying that's why Nicki Minaj liked their page, not because of Cardi B. I want to go ahead and show you guys this previous video of Nicki Minaj at the strip club, basically watching them shake their ass and she's filming herself watching them. Check this out. Break it up. Honey. So that's why Nicki Minaj supposedly was liking their picture, okay? But now, if that's not crazy enough, like I stated before, Cardi B is always strolling the blogs, looking for people mentioning her name. Nicki Minaj does the same thing as well, okay? So in this particular instance, there was a blog that posted something saying that basically Nicki Minaj had to block Cardi B because Cardi B threatened Nicki Minaj. So Cardi B got pissed off and she came to the blog and she went off. I'm gonna go ahead and read to you guys what Cardi B said. So Cardi B says, you're a fucking liar. Now, why would I threat somebody on social media to incriminate myself? I swear to God, when you motherfuckers can't find shit to talk about, Cardi, y'all make shit up. Get a fucking life. All right, so you guys just heard what Cardi B had to say, okay? So then what's crazy is that one of my tea sippers, who's also a barb, she replied back to Cardi B. She remembered the video that I did a few weeks ago about when Cardi B got into it with a 15-year-old barb named Keisha Coldslaw. So it's your girl Sada replied back to Cardi B, and this is what she said. She says, at I am Cardi B, says the person who threatened to beat up. So after she wrote that, she said that she got a notification from Cardi B. So this girl sent me all the screenshots. So this is what Cardi B said back to her. So Cardi B says, 
that girl Sada, that butch said she was going to kick me in my stomach right while I was pregnant, right? You motherfuckers need to get a life. So then what happened is that messy ass Keisha Coleslaw, okay, that day cracks me up every time. Now, as we all know, Keisha Coleslaw, you'll see her in the shade room. You'll see her all over the blogs, you know what I'm saying? She don't give a damn. So when she seen my tea sipper going back and forth with Cardi B, she jumped in her DM and basically cleared up some things. So I want to go ahead and show you guys this conversation between the two of them talking about Cardi B. Check this out. So Keisha Coleslaw says... Hey, sweetheart, I seen your comment to Retardy B and I saw her reply. To clarify any misconceptions, I never threatened to kick her in the stomach while pregnant because she had already had her baby after our argument happened, which is facts because, again, I did a video on this. This was after she had culture, so Cardi B's lying, okay? She did catch Cardi B up. So then... um, that girl Sada replies back and she says, yeah, she's really fake and shady and also a liar. She's telling us to get a life, but she's on here responding to everything negative. Thanks for telling me. Then Keisha Kosla says, right, that girl is a walking contradiction. So that's what was going on right there. But then there was some more even crazier stuff. Like I told you guys before, both Nicki and Cardi B are shady towards each other, okay? The same way that Nicki Minaj gets caught liking those two girls who she knows they're trying to sue Cardi B. So when you're a queen, you just don't involve yourself in messiness, okay? I don't care if she knew them before and they were dancing for her and shaking their tits in her face. You know what I'm saying? When you see that they're involved in some shit like that, you want to distance yourself because again, when you involve yourself by liking their statuses and reposting them, it makes you look shady to the people on the outside looking in, okay? So I feel like Nicki Minaj shouldn't have engaged. She shouldn't have liked the video. She shouldn't have done nothing. She could have slid in their DMs and, you know, gave them a shout out. Why do it publicly, okay? So they both threw little shady shit to each other. But Cardi B was caught, once again, liking shady comments about Nicki Minaj. So go ahead and check this out. I was sent this today. So somebody took this screenshot where one of the Barty gang members was saying, them nipples are not tasteful, shake my head, end of a career. And they're basically saying that because Nicki Minaj had a wardrobe malfunction during the title performance where her nipples were out. And you can see that Cardi B liked that comment. So somebody screenshotted it and then they added Cardi B and they said, damn it, I am Cardi B. You never learn, do you, sis? And that's not the first time she's been caught liking things. So now what's causing the most drama today is the fact that one of the Barty gang members, she was in Nicki Minaj's comment section and she's basically telling Nicki Minaj that she needs to post her Queen's radio show onto YouTube and Nicki Minaj just so happened to respond to her and Cardi B was pissed and she had her peoples reach out to the Barty gang member and now the Barty gang girl is blasting Cardi B and they're saying that this is not the first time that Cardi B has done this. So go ahead and check this out. So Goddess, so Goddess Barbie says, can you post these on YouTube? And Nicki Minaj says, I think I'll post the full video soon. So shortly after that, um, Goddess Barbs wrote this. She says, hello there. I was informed by somebody very close to Cardi that she, Cardi, does not want me posting her anymore and that I need to change my act. I respect Cardi's wishes, but one thing I will not do is change this act. I'll stop posting her if that's what she wants, knowing how shit goes. Cardi will definitely see this. And if Cardi, and if Cardi, if you're reading this, I don't know what to tell you. I'm not going to go back to my spam page aesthetics. Also, please don't drag any one of my comments. I just want to let y'all know ahead of time why I may stop posting her or just less often. Now, the thing that bothers me with this whole situation is at the end of the day, these kids have the right to listen to who they want to listen to. They have the right to be fans of whoever they want to be fans of. And, you know, one thing is that when these kids take on these monikers on social media like Barty Gang or, you know, Cardi this or, you know, Mirage that or Nika this, when they're putting those in their handles, that's them showing like the ultimate, you know, respect, loyalty towards their fandom. You know what I mean? So I don't understand. So once they use that in their name, they're not allowed to talk to other celebrities. They're not allowed to be in other celebrities' comment sections. You know, I don't understand why, why her leaving that comment 
and talking to Nicki Minaj and saying, Nicki, you should post these on YouTube, why that would make Cardi B upset. That's silly. You know, at the end of the day, the girl can't control Nicki Minaj talking to her. Now, let's keep it real. Nicki Minaj can be calculated, and maybe she responded back to the Barty Gang member, so that way she could look good and look like, you know, there's no beef and stuff like that. But Cardi B's actions afterwards says a lot. You know, she's sending her peoples to DM people and telling them to remove her name from their screen name and to stop posting her, that they're not real fans. You know, that's just really, really childish at the end of the day. At the end of the day, people should have the right to like who they want to like, to support who they want to support. My issue is be a fan, don't be a stan, okay? Don't be out here trolling folks and disrespecting folks on behalf of a Cardi B or a Nicki Minaj because you don't get paid to do all that, okay? Listen to the music, enjoy the music, enjoy the personalities, but all this celebrity worshiping is getting out of hand and it's obviously going to some of these celebrities' heads where they feel like if you're, you know, fans of theirs, you cannot be fans of other people and that's just re damn ridiculous, okay? So I recorded that entire breakdown earlier today and I felt like this situation was getting a lot worse that it was going to be a lot more drama because I've been following all of this beef for like the past two weeks. And, you know, to the point where Cardi's mad about certain fans talking to Nikki, you know, Nikki liking certain comments, Nikki being shady. Um, a comment that really pissed Cardi B off was the other day, Nikki Minaj had liked a comment on a post. So basically what happened is that Cardi B had posted Welcome Back Kodak. And as we all know, her and Kodak Black are obviously cool because that's the song that Cardi blew up off of was Bodak Yellow, which was a play on Kodak Black. And so she was welcoming him back and one of the barbs said, the message that she is sending as a mother to a baby girl by supporting a rapist is unsettling and uncomfortable to me. Now, what's ironic about that is that they're talking about a rapist and Nicki Minaj comes and she likes the comment. If you go to Nicki Minaj's um, page, you can click on all her likes. This is on her Twitter page and that's one of the comments that pissed Cardi B off, okay? So I saw a lot of this stuff escalating, a lot of mess going on, and today when I tell you it finally popped off. They were at the New York Fashion Week and basically Cardi B and Nicki Minaj got into a huge fight. Initially, people thought that it might have been Ra Ali. Ra Ali was trending, Cardi B, Nicki Minaj. At first, there was a 15 second clip going around the internet, so you really couldn't tell. TMZ ended up getting the full clip, okay? So what they're saying happened is that basically Cardi B and Nicki Minaj both showed up at the Harper's Bazaar bash. Nicki was with her crew at a table when Cardi aggressively approached the table, according to eyewitnesses. We're told that Cardi said, let me tell you something, as she lunged towards Nicki, but security stopped her inches from contact. But Cardi B wasn't done. She pulled off her shoe and threw it at her enemy, missing her target. As for Nikki, they were told that Nikki was cool as a cucumber and didn't even flinch, okay? So that was the initial story. And then the full video came out, and basically they're saying that, of course, Cardi B attacked Nikki first, and you can hear her screaming, talking about leave my kid's name out your mouth, stop talking about my daughter, you're doing a bunch of shady shit. You can hear her going off, and then she throws another shoe, and at that point, they're saying that Nicki Minaj ended up clocking her because security was in between them, and then Nicki goes to her car, and she's showing off, and she's, you know, showing her face, her body. She has no scratches, no bruises, and Cardi B's walking out that bitch shoeless, for one, because she threw her shoes, and then she has a huge knot on her forehead. When I tell you right now, the barbs are roasting her, Instagram, Twitter, social media is going crazy behind this fight. And then Cardi B also took to uh, Instagram to address the situation. And this is what Cardi B wrote as of an hour ago. So Cardi B says, I've let a lot of shit slide. I let you sneak diss me. I let you lie on me. I let you attempt to stop my bag and fuck up the way I eat. You've threatened other artists in the industry and told them if they work with me, you'll stop fucking with them. I let you talk big shit about me. I dressed you once in person. I dressed you a second time in person. And every time you cop the plea. But when you mention my child, you choose to like comments about me as a mother, make comments about my abilities to take care of my daughter, is when all bets are fucking off. I've worked too hard and I've come too far to let anybody fuck with my success. Bitches talk all that shit in they raps, but in real life they pussy. This shit is really for entertainment. And then she wrote, period. 
So a lot of folks were just, you know, tripping off of that. Like I said, they're cranking out the memes. They're going in on her. And the crazy thing is that they found some old tweets that Cardi B sent out this summer where she was going in on somebody else's child and basically, you know, making fun of a woman. I'm talking about her child died. So I don't know what the hell was up with that. You know, that's really dirty of Cardi B to say that to somebody. I don't know what the backstory is, but now people are throwing that in her face. Like maybe you shouldn't have said that to that lady and then you wouldn't have Nicki Minaj liking posts about your daughter. So this entire situation is a hot damn mess, but this is what led up to everything that happened tonight. I wanted to put everything together in the package for you guys. I wanted to break everything down. I didn't want to do a simple commentary like everybody else just putting up a quick one minute video like oh they fought i want you guys to go ahead and watch the full video of them fighting at the harper's bazaar retardy talking about Cardi in his text, what happened? Oh. Talking about Cardi in his text, what happened? Oh. Talking about Cardi in his text, what happened? Why are the girls fighting? Oh, Cardi, you're a bird. <laughs> you're a bird. I told y'all, bitches, she was a bird. I told y'all, like, listen, she doesn't understand the rules of black female etiquette. She doesn't understand that black women in 2018, we fight with our words and not with our hands. Woo, child, the ghetto, the campesino. The campesino jumped out at Fashion Week at that. Ew. Nah, come on. Everybody, I told y'all niggas, I told y'all, I told y'all. I was like, no, this bitch is a fucking stupid ghetto low mentality bird. You fought Nicki Minaj and you fought her for what? 
For what? You hit her? Okay, no, you no. You can't call yourself black no more. I'm sorry. You're like cut out of the black. Whatever. Bitch, come for me if you fucking want to. Like we don't do this. You're bugging, honey. No, honey. Let me tell you, the special ed ESL Yara from Room 201 IS90 jumped out. Yes, the salami and quisqueyana cheese out the fucking glass jumped out. The ten for dollar platanos jumped out. Wow. All right, so you guys just saw the video. You guys saw the tweets, the memes. You guys even heard ratchet-ass Cecilia Banks give her opinion. So like I said, this entire situation is not only sad, but it's ratchet as fuck, okay? And I know a lot of people are siding. You know, they're either Team Cardi or Team, you know, Barb, Team Nicki Minaj. Some people are saying that Cardi's all the way in the wrong. Other folks are saying that Nicki's all the way in the wrong. And in my personal opinion, both of these grown-ass women, okay, one of which is a mother, they're both in the wrong. They both done shady shit on social media. They both like shady posts about each other. They both had thrown shade in their music at each other. They both done things to each other. Neither one of them are innocent in this, okay? Maybe Nicki Minaj may have started it with her first. I don't know. But Cardi has definitely been playing the game. Cardi has definitely been an antagonizer on her end as well. It's really sad how this whole situation played out, but I'm not surprised at all. Because like I said, I saw this escalating pretty quickly because of everything that's been going on. Cardi feels like with that whole stripper situation that Nicki's trying to side with these girls. And you know that they're trying to sue her and affect her bag. And a lot of people in the industry have said that Nicki Minaj has done stuff like that where she's tried to get other artists not to work with people like Remy Ma and stuff like that. So what Cardi's saying is nothing that's unheard of. We've heard rumors like that concerning Nicki Minaj before, but at the end of the day, this was not the time nor the place. This is not love and hip hop, okay? This was New York Fashion Week, a very classy affair, and you just made yourself look like a hood booger. You just made yourself look like you can take the girl out the hood, but you can't take the hood out the girl. Now, I understand getting defensive about your child because I too am a mother, but like I said, there's a time and place for everything, and that was not the time nor place. Right now, it's being whispered on the blogs that Cardi B may be looking at some charges for the fight, and also her label is pretty pissed off, and she may get in trouble her label as well so it's going to be very interesting to see how all this plays out but i want to go ahead and give you guys a full breakdown so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire messy situation honey concerning cardi b and Nicki minaj and the back and forth let me know your thoughts on everything that's gone down so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.